Hi, the Wheel of Time fans. Welcome back to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori. And I'm Dr. S. In this video, we'll be discussing the Wheel of Time Season 1, Episode 7. This is our penultimate episode. It's called The Dark Along the Ways. Hey, first of all, thanks for coming back every week. We really love you guys. I mean, I'm really like I'm a little bit attached to you. Yes. Maybe even obsessed with you. <laughs> this has been so much fun and I cannot thank you enough. Yes, it is true. I'll stop being sappy. Let's get into this episode. It begins with this lady with orange hair on a mountain fighting guys while in labor. <sighs> wow. Yeah. She was super impressive, but I will have to say, you'll have to watch our reaction video, but you pointed out that she had orange hair. She has orange hair. Red I hair. wasn't sure if it was bloody hair or yeah. orange hair, but then I was I settled on orange hair, reddish yes. orange hair. And it wasn't just a mountain, it was Dragon Mount. It was the The mountain. Dragon Mount. Yes. yes, it was. And I will say I'm not a huge fan of fight sequences. I mm -hmm. always feel like they go on too long, but this one did not bother me at all. I loved the choreography. It really captivated me. It was like a dance. She was clearly special. Oh my gosh, was she special. She's in labor yes. fighting multiple people at one time. Mm -hmm. So... Good for her. And we guessed that that was Baby Rand inside. It yes. had to be. Yes. Right? Who else would it Who be? Who else would it be? Who else would it be? So that was already just amazing. They <gasps> threw us into that. And then yeah. they're like, okay, we'll play the intro music. Mm -hmm. So then we go back and we are with our crew again. They must continue without Matt. Mm -hmm. We know that the reasons are yes. beside the show. Yes, beyond. Besides the, beyond Extra. the story. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I hope he's doing well. Yes. And... Rand and Nynaeve seem to be the most concerned about this. Not that I don't think Perrin and Egwene are, mm -hmm. but I know that Nynaeve feels like she, um, well, she's very protective of them. Yes. And then Rand and him are besties, like, really close. Yes. So, yes. I get it. But Egwene is right, though. Like, he chose this. I'm on Egwene's side on we this one. You know, he on. didn't go in. Yes. So he chose I, this. Yeah, so you can see why she would say, yeah. Yeah. Good riddance. I do feel the same way. Yes, <laughs> good riddance. Yes, so this ways is pretty dark and stormy. Yes. It's, um, yeah, I, I don't feel like I, I, it almost looks like a bridge. Is this kind of like a bridge or pathway? I'm getting, right, and like, is there, is there a below? Does it just go endless? The void? Right, because it's fall? not a, like those little stumps mm -hmm. are not too high. Like you yeah. could trip. I yeah. would maybe trip. Yeah. And then where do I go? Yeah. This Die. is like the ultimate escape room. <laughs> Sorry, it's love, really dark. I love escape rooms. Okay, Perrin's wolf eyes spot a guiding stone. Or is it a, a guiding, guiding stone? stone? Yeah, yes. but it's defaced for what reason? Maybe to keep people from finding it is, is what loyal basically, right? From said, going or? the direction they want to go? Yeah, who did that? Because Loyal said the Ogiers would not do such They would a thing. never do something like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't know, but something is following them. Mm -hmm. I think our best guess is Pad and Fane, obviously, because, well... The whistling? The whistling. Yes. Egwene hears it, and then we see his figure. He comes out the way gate, and he's just is like strutting along. That was so weird. How... What is... I don't understand that whole... Why? Why? He's a know. peddler back home I but now he's, he's more in than the ways right yeah so how why what do you have to do with this I don't know. leave them alone <laughs> but he's obviously no good and Perrin sees him too he said mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. i just saw pat and fame but nynaeve thinks that he's dead yeah because she wasn't she hasn't been around to oh, see him right oh. she wasn't there this is true this is true um okay they also have this black wind thing called machin shin machin shin, Did machin I shin who yes will and detect the use of any magic Yes, and speak to them. And yes. Moraine says, do not listen, because it's some pretty evil stuff that is said to them. It's like their deepest, darkest fears, though. Oh. It's their inner, it's it, the doubts that they have, their own doubts about themselves. I think that's what they're hearing. Yes. That they maybe have to suppress in order to move forward with their mission. Ooh, right? it was brutal. Moraine's voice says, what if you're wrong or you are wrong? You know, yes, it's like her all worst this fear. doubt, the seeds right. of doubt. And right. then I don't know why, but Perrin's really um, was, well, they're, it's all sad, but it's mm -hmm. a, it, like you wanted Layla out of the way. Mm -hmm. It's a little confusing to me because we do kind of think, okay, but something was suspicious with Layla yes, and yes. had her. Mm -hmm. Was she a dark friend maybe? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. He I says, I love you. She's like, I know. Uh -huh. No, I love you too. Yeah. Is what she says. Anyway, so that was a little suspicious. I also hear male and female. 
voice. Mm-hmm. Can you hear? Mm-hmm. They're both kind yes. of saying the same yes. thing. Okay. All right. So we have that whole thing. Let's just keep adding things yes. to this. <laughs> um, so Nynaeve does her thing. Maureen does her thing. And mm-hmm. then they are out of the ways. They're in Faldara. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is a nice place. I was like, you know, every time they go through these tense scenes and yeah. then we finally get like a little yes. breather and they have friends there. Yes. But it was so sad because Rand and Perrin have tears in their eyes. Like I what know. was said to them yeah. really got to their yes. core. Yes. So then we get to meet some new people. I love that. And we see that Lan is called Daishan. Daishan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And later on, I'm so glad we got to learn more about Lan. I know. Because we love him. Yes. Yes. So that's the title for future kings. Mm-hmm. He's like he got would have some, been uh, he w- right. He's like a little prince. He, he's a little, little prince. prince. Yes, and he was smuggled out of the palace after his family was slaughtered. I mean, this whole thing. By the blight. By the blight. The blight. Yes. Um, and then we see and meet Lord Al- 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 Agomar. I am not. Mm-hmm. So I'm been, just going to butcher everything. So the, these are the people who have been holding off the blight. Yes. Right? They're protected. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's, <laughs> we that's what they said. Been that's hold, what they said, yeah. yeah. Holding off the blight. Yes. So Moraine has this warning for him, mm-hmm. and he's kind of being a little bit, I don't know. He kept interrupting her. Yeah, didn't yeah, love I don't that. Like that. Yeah, but then when she says the Dark One has begun to use the waste to move his army, he's, now he's all ears, and he's like, oh, let's oh yeah, yeah. let's work together <laughs> here. what she said. Yeah, right, exactly. All right, and then we also get to meet somebody who I found really interesting in that bar. First mm-hmm. of all, I like that Perrin is teaching um, Rand the way of the leaf. Yes, I love that, no too. No violence. And, so and no cute. meat from their yeah <laughs> from their many their travels um and so there's this woman min mm-hmm. the seer mm-hmm. so i like her i like her too so let's review what she said about yes. each one of them okay. perrin yellow eyes we know we know that We're we fine. got that yeah <laughs> uh rand has a baby okay who's this baby who is this baby i have no idea why who's this baby is this supposed to be is it his baby his- well, is it him as a baby? Why would he be holding himself as a baby? Right? Well, we think that because that's the only baby we've seen this episode. Yeah. Right? right. So, oh, baby. There, baby. That's two babies in one episode. But that baby did not have red hair. Did not. Had brown. Dark hair. Yeah. Yep. Oh, like Egwene? Mm. Mm. Is that his baby? I mean, they did sleep together in this episode. They slept together before. Yeah. But this one was very okay. obvious. Okay. I like okay. it. I like okay. it. Um, Nynaeve, I believe she's the one that has a ring of gold. <laughs> this is our dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry about that. My dog really wanted to be a part of this. He watches this along with us. So anyway, let's get back to what we were talking about. So Nynaeve has a ring of gold. Yes. I think that's because she's going to be a gold Aja oh, in the future. Oh, yes. Maybe? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe, yes. Okay. Okay. Gold. I see that. I see Yes, it. she's a healer. So Egwene is the white flame. Okay. Okay, I was what hoping you mean? had something. I don't know. I, don't know. Means. Yeah, I, I don't heard know. that too, and I don't know what that means. What does that mean? What's a white flame? What does that mean? I don't know. There's but... no white Aja. Is there? Oh, shoot. Is that Swan? Is she technically the white Aja? <gasps> whoa, wait. Whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, whoa. No, no, Everybody relax. Crazy. Calm down. Okay, and Maureen even has something. So she says that she sees the Amarlin seat, and she's going to be her downfall. Oh. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. But again, it's the Amarlin seat. Now I'm very careful because is it the Amarlin seat or is or it Swan? Yeah, exactly. Swan. I don't know. Now you got You have to be very, like, pick up on the nuances. Right, exactly. What exactly is being said? Name or title? With all the eyes to die. What is exactly being said? <laughs> They're yes. very slippery. Yes. With their words. Yes. I like that she says when she's explaining to the kids um, that... That uh, Min is, did they say her name right? Yes, Min. That she has glimpses of the pattern or the future. I love that mm-hmm. she calls it the pattern. Yes. I instantly thought of the tapestry yes. in the intro. The, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. I love that. All I these know. little She's cool. nuggets. Yes. Okay, so then there's a little bit of turmoil with our crew. Mm-hmm. There's fighting because yes, yes. apparently Perrin may or may not have a crush on Egwene. Um, well, first of all, Nynaeve kind of slipped up and said she was tired of the two of them fighting over mm-hmm. her, like she's something you could win. I didn't really see that coming. Did you ever think that Perrin had a crush on it? I Gwen? did not, but I think maybe maybe it's something that is just backstory that wasn't put in yet. Yeah. But I do be- I kind of think that it must be true, right? Because where would it have come from? Yeah. There's a little bit of truth. He right? was very quick to defend her when yes. Rand was yelling mm-hmm. at her, so yeah. probably. Yeah. A little something. Mm. But I don't feel like they gave us a lot of obvious backstory no. about that. Yeah. Yes. And then there's Lan and Moraine. And I just feel like she harbors so much guilt for him. But now I know. Yeah. Because we learned of how 
well, you know, yeah. that I guess he could have been something, but he wants to be with her. Yeah. He, he doesn't, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like, why does she feel so bad? He chose this and he right. has something to live for now and right. to die for. Right. So romantic. But he, I guess she is kind of an extra special Aes Sedai because she's kind of beyond. She wants more yes. for him than just that bond. Yeah. Maybe. Gosh, she's kind of nice. So I sweet. Know, I know. Like I like when she says that she she likes the wisdom. The wisdom. But why does she call her the wisdom? Right. Why, why not? not Again, with the title versus mm-hmm. the name. Mm-hmm. What? What is that? What, what is that? I what do that we make well. of this? Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, I've been waiting for this for so long. Okay, seven episodes. It feels like forever to me. <laughs> Bland decides to take Nynaeve home to meet the family. Mm-hmm. She's kind of out there stalking him a little she bit. She is, though. <laughs> I don't know, cute ish. Yeah, yeah. cute. Mm-hmm. Um, I like that somebody in his family calls her Nynaeve Sedai. Mm-hmm. I like the sound of that. Yes. But she's like, no, no, I'm not no, Aes Sedai. No. Well, you will be. Do she think? doesn't want to Do be. Why does she trust her own thing? She's, you know, yeah. got her own things going yeah. on. She's, yeah. That's mm-hmm. maybe just not the life she wants to live. Yeah. But I kind of feel like it's going that it's way. Happen. That's my little prediction. But I, feel I like think she can be the Amarlin seat because she's beyond. Whoa. Yes. 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 She's well, then will she be the downfall of Moraine? Okay, let's get into oh, this. Oh, dang. No, I don't know. <laughs> that was amazing. No, yeah, totally. Because whoa, she has whoa, attention. Whoa. They have attention. Yes. Okay, okay, let's okay. get to the part, the juicy part that I've been waiting for so long. Okay, so there's the walk to the door. And yes, yes. He goes in alone. And I was like, oh, he's being gentlemanly. He's just trying to be, right? Mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. like, I'm not expecting yeah. her to come in. But then she just lets herself in. I like in. how she's the one who comes back. Yes, mm-hmm. and it finally happens. Now, yes, the sexual tension was palpable. It was totally yes. hot when they were making out, but all I kept thinking was, did Moraine get a little bit of this action? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Such a pervert. But yes, there is definitely <laughs> jealousy over the bond. Now, I need yes. jealous of Moraine, maybe mm-hmm. even Moraine a little bit now. Yeah. I don't know. But I feel like, is this jealousy clouding her judgment of Moraine? Like, would she be more open to do what she's... What she hmm. wants them to do, like follow her. Maybe. To, yeah. I know. I, I'm not. I'm it's not. It's hard positive. to know. But I also think she's jealous because she does still doesn't quite understand the bond. Mm-hmm. It's like not the type of bond that yeah. just normal people have. Because she thinks he that, that she, she owns him. Right. But I like how he called her on it though. That was no good. more than you own them, right? Yeah. The kids, mm-hmm. the children, whatever. They're not children. Yes, Sorry. Yeah. They're like twenty. They call them kids though. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. For five years difference, like yeah. twenty five, twenty. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of intrigued by Nynaeve when she's fidgeting with her braids and tossing it. Yes, what is the that about? Like when she's, when she's to, tightening it up, too, uh-huh. like, like fixing it and after. what? Yeah. Just boom. <laughs> no, no, I kind of like it. Uh, whatever. Okay, so then, not so much the thing I've been waiting for, but, okay, let's talk about, we find out who the Dragon Reborn is, guys. Yes. Hello. Spoiler alert. Never mind. No. Sorry, you're watching this. So funny. Uh, okay. So the dragon reborn. Okay, so basically they discover it themselves. It was a little anticlimactic yes. for me. I do like that. Okay, so it's Rand. We get it. It's Rand, right? Okay. Um, I like that he came to the realization. I do like that part. Nobody was like, like you know, Min didn't say, "Oh, I see you being the dragon reborn." Or, but upon rewatching, it was the Black Wind. Yes. The, right. You, you, right. Yes. He, so that means he knew, but then when he heard it, that's when he believed. Yes, and so he's known together. this whole. He's known this whole time. In some capacity, In he's like known his this deep, whole deep unconscious or something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this was really hyped, right? Mm-hmm. The whole finding yes. out who the Dragon Reborn is. Right. We even had our predictions mm-hmm. last minute. I went with Rand, and I, I'm okay with it. But is this supposed to be a big deal? Because this is the first book does this happen in the first book so this isn't all about just finding out who the dragon no. born is obviously it's called the wheel of time right but uh, well it- apparently in the books it's not even a mystery oh at all it's obvious, right, right? So that's it's what just, they're saying it is what it is so it was kind of fun yeah it was like fun. trying to guess it's good it made for good tv mystery yeah. is always a good way to drive a story yes in tv so shout out to yes. wheel up time for uh, featuring us in one of their videos about our predictions. Yes, that was yes, fun. That was super fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I do still like your theory that everybody's going to have to work together. It probably still has to be the case. I think so. Just that there's one dragon reborn. Rand. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's that. So, yeah, I guess that's kind of just, like, uh, shows how we feel about how the, the reveal went. I mean, I'm super excited to know who it is. Right. But... Okay. I'm ready to move on. And then we move on. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's red. And, and carry okay, on. So now what? <laughs> yes. All right. So then I thought this was really cute mm-hmm. when Egwene goes to Nynaeve's room and she's not there. Mm-hmm. And then Nynaeve does her little walk of shame in there. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed about. No, Lan no. is gorgeous. Um, even with the little scars on his back, oh, which we're going to find out what that is. Even more because of. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. And then, yes. Yeah, so Egwene is there. Perrin, there, he walks in and they. I think they kind of come to the decision that they are going to follow her. I yes. mean, not, Nene doesn't outwardly say it, but right. then Lan comes in and he says that the bond has been masked, and Moraine takes Rand, and they enter the Blight. The Blight. Okay, so then <laughs> I have a question about this Blight, right? Because yes. this Blight is what killed Lan's whole family. Yeah. It overtakes, like, kingdom. So when we see it, and it's this mass of dead trees and when they go inside we see like a skull so it just basically keeps growing and growing and growing and taking over whole kingdoms yeah isn't the blight like a fungus that attacks plants right yeah so like the blight the historical blight that we are aware of is it just like a plague or like yeah it could be it could be locusts oh <laughs> interesting no, but like so it. but in this story it's these it's trees vines Fine. Just all of it. it just keeps all going. Above. Yeah. Right. Consumes them. Right. Mm-hmm. And then the people at Faldara, they've been holding off the blight. Hmm. So what do they this like? How do you hold off the blight? Exit. I don't know. I don't know, but the way to the eye of the world is through the blight. Yeah. I can't, I want to see more of this blight. I know. I'm sure we will. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Well, yeah. And then, as you were saying before, you said that you know the other three weren't invited. Yeah. <laughs> Lan wasn't invited because they wouldn't make it. Right. To the eye, out of the eye. Well, I'm thinking they fled because they don't want them to die. Right. Because the ones who are them. not, the, yeah. 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 So that's kind of nice. That but makes sense. I, I think they're going to get back reunited, right? Because we're just at the beginning of the story. Yeah. I'm really thinking. Like, Why do they keep getting separated? I don't know. And then I'm like, are we supposed to see all these people stick together throughout this whole series? I mean, people will die, I'm guessing. But right? it makes me kind of reconfigure what this story is going to be about. Right. Because... Yeah, and how long it can go on because they keep separating, yeah. but then it's gonna is it gonna be a series of like separating, and getting back together, separating, and getting back together? Don't do that to us. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say one little thing I have a question about was when Moraine said to send a message to the Red Aja mm-hmm. about Matt. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Because aren't on? they the ones who like to get the men and like put them in their place the most? Hmm. Okay. Right. They don't. Aren't the Red Ajas the ones who never have? Warders, mm-hmm. I think, because specifically them, they want that. yeah, okay. okay, to to take care of him, oh, do do what needs to be done to take care of him. That's what I thought. Or snap him out of it. Yeah. All right. I don't think she wants to help him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, this episode was great. It was. It was so much fun. Mm-hmm. We only have one more episode of this Aww. season. This last episode is called "The Eye of the World." We're gonna get there. Oh my gosh! I know. I'm gonna be so sad without. All of you. I don't know this what is, to do. What are we going to do with my life? <laughs> anyway, I want to tell you that we are going to attempt um, a live watch party on Twitch. So you'll get to watch right along with us. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know how it's going to work, but I have my husband, the tech guru, that he'll <laughs> be able to figure that out. So please watch with us and hopefully it actually happens. Um, and then don't forget to watch our reaction to this episode because I'm more obnoxious than ever. I'm so sorry, but... <laughs> Whoa, a lot of juicy things happened yes. this episode. And I'm going to say it again. Thank you a million times, perpetually, forever. Thank you so much for watching and being so sweet to us and engaging and all the help. God, I love you guys. Yes. All right. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time for the finale of The Wheel of Time Season 1. Bye-bye.